Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be sharing a short demo of a real RPA use case at a Fortune 500 bank that is applicable to any size company. Um, in this case, we're going to take a look at a process where bank statements are being downloaded, massaged, and sent to destination folders to be audited by a core app by a robot. As you can see, the current process, or the, I guess I should say the old process, is where two teams are, one, the first team is accessing bank statements from four different bank portals, then it's being sent to a second team to actually massage the data, and then the files are moved to uh, multiple destination folders where it's getting picked up by a core app for auditing. Well, we're going to reduce that process from six hours to one hour, showing you how it can be done um, by robot, in this case, process robot by Softmotive. But before we get into the actual demonstration, let's take a short look at the destination file folders for a few important um, pieces of information. As you can see here, we have a folder that's source, folder for statements, and a, fol and a work folder. We're gonna go, the first one we're going to go into is we're going to take a look at the source folder. That's where we store the login credentials uh, for the robot that will be executing the demonstration today. As we're going to use two banks. As you can see, we have a login credentials and passwords for each one. And we also can program up front how, when do we want the process to start and when do we want it to stop uh, for each of the, uh, the banks. Moving on, the other folder that we want to look at is the actual work folder, and that's essentially where the temporary files are stored. And finally, we're going to take a look at the statements folder, and that's essentially where the output files are going to end up um, as an end result of the process. So let's jump into the getting the robot started so we're now initiating the process here we're going to go out on, out onto the web go to the portal for our first uh, bank which is scb put in our login credentials put in our password go ahead and hit enter get to our starting page navigate uh, to where we want to do our cash management tools, which is reports and transactions. And we're going to go ahead and fill out the criteria and the appropriate fields so we can um, execute the report, change, change the date parameters, enter what kind of st uh, statement we want. In this case, we're going to do a CSV file format. Go ahead and Go ahead and save and download. Now we're in Excel. Go ahead and massage the files that we want to massage. And again, this is all automated and done at a, a high rate of speed. While this is going on in the SCB bank, concurrently, the robot is logging into the second site, uh, which is ICI. Same process, log in with the credentials that you saw earlier, also the password. As you can see, this is a, a different portal, looks somewhat different than the other one. Kind of go through the same process, go ahead and fill out the appropriate um, field criteria. Change it to a, an XLS in this stand for, standpoint. Go ahead and download the report. Open up the file, same thing, massage. Now we're going to go and look at the destination or the output folder. And as you can see, the two files are here. And, that's, and you can open it, 
check to make, make sure that everything's okay. And you can see this is the outputted file with all the data um, based on the criteria that was selected that you saw at the portals. Same thing here for the second file. And the neat thing about RPA is that you could further automate the processes to, to kick off other processes, be sent to somebody for you know auditing. Also, you can upload it and have it automatically uploaded to other systems, not just the, the, the scenario that we saw here. Thank you for your time in reviewing this RPA use case. Please visit us at graysoft.co for more compelling information related to RPA and digital transformation for financial services companies.